What is wrong with Missouri and Colorado? I uh, I can't answer that. But something is definitely wrong with both of those states, especially when it comes to uh, gun control. And Colorado, we'll, we'll tell you here in a second, um, we have just found out, in, fa- in fact, uh, uh, Dana Lash is the one who, has broke this, uh, who broke this story nationally. Um, and Dana is a good friend of the program and the network, and um, uh, she brought us the story that Colorado seems to be collecting information and giving it to the feds on gun owners. Is that a problem? No. No, not at all. And Amanda Collins in Colorado. Amanda uh, was on this program last week, a survivor of rape and a brutal rape. Amanda was in front of a legislative hearing on Colorado's proposed ban on firearms on college campuses. She explained that she sure wished she would have had a, uh, a gun. She was on the program last week. And she said, I don't know if it would have helped me, but it would have been better than just having nothing. Well, apparently not for both the Republicans and the Democrats in Colorado. Listen to what they said to her. It's fascinating. Rendering me defenseless, protect you against a violent crime. Thank you. What we are trying to do here tonight is not to protect ourselves from violent crime. Mm -hmm. What we are trying to do here tonight is protect students and teachers from feeling uncomfortable (laughs) by you carrying a gun to protect yourself. Stop just a second. Stop just a second. He is saying this not as a joke. He's not saying this to to, uh, defend her. He's He's not standing up with her and saying, we're just trying to protect people's feelings. Listen to what he just said. Play it again. Listen to what he just said and realize he's not saying this in defense of her or to mock the legislature. He is saying this in all seriousness. How does rendering me defenseless protect you against a violent crime? Thank you. What we are trying to do here tonight is not to protect ourselves from violent crime. What we are trying to do here tonight is protect students and teachers from feeling ah. uncomfortable okay, all right. by you carrying a gun to protect yourself. Okay, all right. Wow. Okay, wow. Sorry. wow. Stop for just a second. Stop for just a second. This is good because it's, it's going to go on here in a second. Um, I just want to make sure we, we understand we're not here to protect the individual. We're here to protect the collective from feeling uncomfortable. Let me ask you, when, 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 when has anyone promised anybody in this country that they were never going to feel uncomfortable? Tell me that. It's become a constitutional right. Well, you know what? Then they're breaking the Constitution every time mm-hmm. I go to New York City. Because I feel uncomfortable being surrounded by all of these loser liberals in, in New York. How's that? You're protecting where you're violating my constitutional right. When are you going to start uh, uh, protecting my feelings when I'm in New York? When I'm in Seattle, when I'm in San Francisco, when, quite frankly, I'm in parts of Dallas, Texas. When are you going to start protecting my feelings? I'm sorry, I don't read that in the Constitution. You know what I tell my kids? Get over it. Your feelings. We're not here to protect you from a violent rape. That's not what we're doing here. We're protecting everybody else's feelings about you protecting yourself against a violent rape. Who in their right mind would say this to their kids? Hey, honey, I know you want to carry a gun, but you're making me a little uncomfortable with the gun. I know that you've, I know that you've had a really bad rape experience where you were tied to a tree where you were where you were raped violently for 6 solid hours i know but we feel uncomfortable with you carrying a gun it takes so, a lot of balls yeah. to say that to a rape victim it does uh don't don't downplay the the danger of feelings though i mean there was the chicago feelings massacre of 1946 
Oh, they killed feelings? Uh, oh, no, well, the feelings killed, we believe, up to 30 or 40 people. Really? The Rwandan genocide mm. was largely accomplished with feelings. Oh, uh, no. The Hutus and the Tutsis had a feelings battle, I didn't and know millions that. died. So, I mean, this could be what he's protecting against. Yeah, feelings. It can happen at any time. I'd hate to hurt anybody's feelings whoa, whoa, here, but whoa, you're a moron. <laughs> here's, um, uh, here's, it, well, the, the, the Democrat the, chimes in. The Democrat, that was a Republican, by the way. Now the Democrat comes to the, to, to the plate. Senator Hudak. <clears throat> thank you, Madam Chair. <laughs> Is that a mic? <laughs> thank you for sharing your story. Mm. Very, very um, unsettling mm -hmm. yes. story. Story. Mm -hmm. It's a story. I just yeah. want to say More that really. actually statistics are not on your side, even oh, if you had had oh, a gun. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, hang you, on just a second. Yeah. I'm sorry. Even if you had a gun. I didn't even know statistics weren't on my side. Yeah, now oh, you feel differently. Well, don't if you? I'm just a statistic to you, then I'm sorry. You know, statistics show that we aren't brutalized by the police. So why should we even look into police brutality? Statistics show that most people on death row are guilty. So why should we even look into, you know, maybe a miscarriage of justice? Statistics show that most people are not starving to death as children. So why should we pay any attention to those in Africa? My gosh, statistics show, listen to the cry of the we over the cry of the I. Here it is, America. Here it is. This is what your president has brought to you. The collective over the individual. Well, you certainly, we don't see your life has any meaning. Justify yourself. Tell us why we should keep you alive. Justify your existence, sir or madam. And if you can't, why, then we as a collective, as a society, just can't find any reason to keep you alive. George Bernard Shaw, the cry of the we over the I. Since when you want to talk about a war on women, there it mm -hmm. is. Since when can we have this conversation? Since when has it been acceptable in our society to have this kind of conversation with a rape victim? Since when? Just send out the, mo the memo so I know that we've completely reversed political correctness. That the, the, the poor individual that was victimized by a horrible crime, a woman who was brutally raped by a man stronger than he was. Just send me the memo so I can keep up with this ridiculous, insane tennis match that we're calling the United States of America. When, when will people say I've had enough? When will they say I've had enough? Colorado, what is wrong with you? How you are not on the front steps of your capital throwing these people to the wolves. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You probably have shipped all of the wolves to Canada because you didn't want to kill any of the wolves. and But they were eating some, some small little field mouse. And so you thought you had to protect the field mouse. So you probably sent the wolves out. So... Why don't you take them out back and shoot? No, you can't do that either because you're getting rid of all of the guns. What the hell happened to the, the people who went out west? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse my language. All the pussies stopped there on that side of the Rocky Mountains. The real men crossed the mountains and went to the other side. You know, you, who are you anymore? Who are you? Who are the people that crossed the mountains? Who are the people that, that stood on that side? Is that who you are? The ones who went, oh, it looks too tough. Because I got news for you. That's what it seems like you are. You have become Americans that I don't even recognize anymore. Where you can just look at a rape victim and say, I'm sorry. We're not here really to protect you. We're here to protect the feelings, oh, the poor feelings of people.
Yes. Sure, you might be raped, but statistics show the group as a whole won't be. Oh. Hmm. Welcome to the new America, where 2 plus 2 equals 5. Have you noticed the slide? Have you noticed that we have said it would come at an increasingly rapid pace? Have you noticed that? Have you noticed the slide and how fast we are spiraling out of control? How, how, how is anyone spending their money at these universities anymore? I don't care what kind of job it promises my children. There are other universities. Liberty University, George Wythe University. Oh, my kid doesn't want to go there because it... Well, good, then your kid can pay for it. (laughs) And if they get themselves in debt, they're on their own. I mean, I... I, We are... We are... Paying for our own destruction. We are voting for our own destruction. In God we trust. I trust that God is busy doing other things at this point because we haven't listened to him for a long, long time. In God we trust. Give me a break.